Hey guys, Mr. Charlton back again with another shoe review. Even though I don't consider myself a shoe tuber, gotta give you guys something every time I get a little something. So today is something, I guess, to some very special. To me, it's something new, which I wasn't excited about at first, but I'm excited after I got them out of the box and wore them for a little bit. These are the new Ultra Boost 19 Solar Reds. Uh, yeah, so if you're watching this, I assume you either are against them or for them. A lot of people in the shoe community are saying that uh, Adidas has ruined Ultra Boost. They don't like the new model. That was my first thought when I saw the mock-up pictures maybe a few months ago. I just really didn't like it, but then I started seeing different angles of the shoe. So I guess maybe just the first pictures weren't really taken in the, the right light. And I apologize if it's a little dark here. Uh, Merry Christmas to all. Got my tree up for the season. Uh, so yeah, first pictures I didn't really like, but then I started. they started growing on me maybe about a week or two before the release. So I thought I would get a pair because I watched the the video on Adidas saw that there's 20% more boost and I just wanted to I guess be one of the first people to actually own the shoe because I missed out on the first the first initial wave of boost so yeah to begin with the shoe uh, as I just said 20% more boost as you could see right there so it's I don't know if you could call it EQT uh, amount of boost but it's definitely noticeable for someone like me uh i have i guess feet issues if i walk around too much my feet hurt so putting these on first thing i noticed was that the heel and everything was considerably softer and more i guess cloudy as people say so that is one good thing walking in them really felt comfortable uh so yeah again adidas kudos to you guys uh, with comfort uh, as I have said to a lot of people boost is the most comfortable shoe that I've put on uh, I still wear Nikes and other shoes if they catch my attention But for comfort walking around cities and things of that nature. I go to boost anyway to continue uh, I think Apologies if I'm wrong, but I think they're calling this prime knit 360 so the new Ultra Boost, they've done away with a lot of fabric. I think they started with 17 materials in previous models and they've cut it down to four, if I believe. So this uh, Prime Knit is considerably different. It's basically all one, uh, I guess, fabric in a sense. Maybe not, I guess it's probably just stitched together. But inside, it's definitely more stretchier so you could get into the shoe much more easier. And it's like a more snug fit than uh, your typical Ultra Boost, either if it's one, two, three, four, uh, it's definitely snug. It hugs your feet, and if you can see on the heel toe, the stitching or the pattern changes, and I think that is to, I guess, give you that more sustainability and just hold on to your foot a little bit more, which probably wore them about for about half an hour, if that much, and the shoe does really hold a lot tighter. Uh, Next, the cage. People people have been cracking on the cage a lot that it looks cheap. Yeah, it does look a little cheap there, but I guess it will grow on some people. I've kind of grown on it looking at the pictures for the last month or so, and having it in hand now, it does kind of fit the shoe. As everything, of course, they're going to have different colors and different models as time progresses. Uh, so. If you don't like it, just wait. But yeah, I like that so far. The heel cup, it's uh, obviously different. It's not filled in. Uh, apologies again, I forgot the correct terminology for the new heel cup. But it's basically one, uh, I guess, material that will give you that extra support in your heel. And I don't know if you guys could see if my camera will zoom in or not, but it's also branded with Ultra Boost, so that's kind of new branding. 
Uh, one of the first things that I noticed when I did try on the shoe, it kind of looks like it's kind of tilted in a sense. I don't know if you could get that feeling from there. Uh, when I do the the on feet, you might be able to see more, but it kind of, the way that the shoe is structured, it kind of makes it look like um, you're leaning or tilted. But again, it's for a performance shoe. A lot of people are disappointed because it might not look aesthetically pleasing, but end of the day, the Ultra Boost is for running. So if you don't like how it looks and you don't run, then you shouldn't really be complaining because that's not what Ultra Boosts are for. It's for actually people who are going out there and running. Uh, inside, no difference. Same old, same old uh, insole with the new Bubble Boost in there. So we got the red. So they're just yeah going with the theme of solar red. Oh, I just noticed taking out the heel, I mean the insole, that actually inside is different. You don't get that ultra boost, uh, the boost uh, pattern in there anymore because before it was just basically some fabric over top the actual boost. So yeah, they just, I guess, put some mesh over that. So yeah, uh, what else about the shoe? Oh, the torsion system is completely revamped so that again is to provide more comfort more stability yada 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 uh what else um, inside of the shoe so basically yeah when you put your foot in the shoe you're basically on prime knit it won't it doesn't feel too rough so if you're a person that goes out there and wears bare feet it shouldn't really have any kind of I guess itchy rough feeling to you in the heel cup i did notice first and foremost hopefully you can see it is padded so the padding does add a lot of extra comfort which i really do appreciate uh overall i'm happy with my shoe i'm happy with my new pick i just saw from the back i don't know if you guys could see what i'm talking about so the boost is kind of slanted oops wrong side so the boost is kind of slanted and goes, what does it go? I guess up and out. So that's where you're going to get that and see that different feeling and the shoe is going to look a little off. Uh, but yeah, this is the Solar Red Ultra Boost 19. I would assume that they're going to keep revamping the models as time goes forward, different colors. I don't know if there's going to be any of the old Ultra Boosts that come on or this is just the new wave of Ultra Boosts. But yeah, don't knock it until you try it. Put it on feet. Give it a go. I assume a lot of people didn't like Ultra Boosts when they first came out. And yeah, just ballooned into this mega hit where it's probably one of the... It will go down in history as one of the top shoes ever made. So yeah, give it a try. Give it a go. That's... Just my little taste of what the Ultra Boost 19 is. I hope you guys enjoyed this short but quick review. Uh, take you guys to a on feet. But for now, uh, hope you guys liked it. Give me some comments. Give me some feedbacks. If you guys like the Ultra Boost 19, if you guys are going to cop or if you cop the ready and your thoughts. If you guys have any more questions that I might have missed out, give me a shout. Oh. Well, stars sizing here in Australia, they only had full sizes, so 7, 8, 9, 10. I went with a 9 in regular Ultra Boost. I tend to go for a 9.5, but trying on the 9, I do still have some room in the toes, so I would go true to size on that. Uh, what else? Did I miss anything else? I think that's all. So have a great time. Have a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys get lots of gifts and have a great festive season and I'll catch you guys next time.